In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find a ton of profitable products to flip on Amazon. In the past 12 months, I've done over 2.2 million in sales flipping name brand products like Nike, Lego, and Adidas. I picked up a ton of tips and tricks along the way, so I'm gonna share all the sauce for you in this video. Selling stuff on Amazon completely changed my life and allowed me to make over $100,000 in profit my first year several years ago. Let's get after it. Let's get after it, ladies and gents. We can see Nike.com has a 25% off sale going on today. So that's pretty significant, 25% over 150. That's a really, really significant discount. We're gonna see that also works on stuff that's already on sale. And over here on the right, we can see we're actually getting 8% cash back as well. Now, I'm not gonna count the cash back into the buy cost, but it definitely doesn't hurt getting that additional ROI. So you wanna make sure you have the Rakuten Chrome extension as well as top cash back. Capital One Shopping and Be Frugal. They're all completely for free and they're gonna show you how to get cash back and additional coupons at different websites. So you're gonna make sure you have those when you're going ahead and doing product research for online arbitrage. So Nike's one of the biggest brands so we can see online here and take a look at what they got on the sale that we can make and sell for a profit on Amazon here. So what we're gonna be doing is called manual sourcing where we're gonna look inside the Nike website, go here and see what's on sale. Right in this one, we're gonna go ahead and filter into boys products right here. And we can see now there's about 600 products online right here. Now what we're gonna do is as we're scrolling through here, we're gonna look at this stuff and think, could we see this selling for double or more on Amazon, right? Cause that's gonna make stuff profitable in terms of taking a look at this stuff right here. So um, I don't really see these going for 200 bucks. Um, I don't think these are gonna be 200 bucks either right here. I think maybe, especially some of these kind of more off colors, I think could be uh, profitable on there. Um, these kids shorts I think could be good as well. We're paying like 22. I could see those potentially being 45 plus on Amazon right here. So what I like to do on a manual sourcing is just scrolling through and see black and red, super basic color right there. Buy cost of it's under 35 bucks. I think those could totally be good right here. Same thing with these guys down at, uh, with another 25% on that down in like the 25 range right there. I could see that being good as well. Right here. So what we want to do basically is just scroll through here and take a look and look at this stuff and think, what could we see for selling for double or more on Amazon? Right as uh, as we're going right here. So let's see. These guys seem a little expensive. Even 18 for those after 25% right around there doesn't quite work. I don't think we got some super basic uh, kid shoes right here. Maybe the kids Cortezes right there. Um, these kids hoodies potentially look good too right here. So let's get up one more of these and then we'll start checking over on Amazon seeing what the value is like right here. Okay, all right, that looks good too. Right here, let's get one more up. Let's see, those look a little expensive, a little expensive right here. Kid shorts, t-shirts. Yeah, so typically you're gonna actually have more success with men's and women's, um, but I just wanna you know be able to show you guys that there's money with, uh, with all this stuff on Amazon. So now, let's see, let's go ahead and start checking over on Amazon right here. So we can see these kids shorts. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pay, it looks like after the 25% code, right in the range of like 15 bucks, basically, right? These black and gray ones, right? So we're gonna get 24, we're gonna get 25% off on that. So it's gonna bring our buy costs like around like 18, 19, right there. And we will go ahead and all we gotta do is copy and paste this over to Amazon. And now we can see the corresponding listings right here. So we can see these, um, it's nice black and gray right there. Um, so we can see, um, it sometimes can be a little difficult to match up the correct um, listing. Sometimes certain products will have multiple listings on Amazon. So you gotta get a little fancy in terms of taking a look at this stuff um, and everything, but you know, we can go ahead and see. And then in terms of product research tools, so nothing fancy right here. All you need to do this is keep up which is this bottom chart right here. This is 20 bucks a month. And then SellerAmp, which is our product research tool over here on the right, which is 20 bucks as, uh, as well. You can get a free trial of that. Also, if you want my full tutorials on those, they're at the link in the description. And if you wanna learn how to get ungated in big name brands and categories like Nike, even as a complete beginner, the best way, my ungating tutorials uh, for free in the link in the description as well. Right there, so now we can see, so we can pick these up. Let's see, the light gray ones. Oh, light gray ones are in stock too. Okay, so we can pick these up like 24, 25, minus 20% right here. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. On these guys, we go down and take a look at variations right here. So we need these in like the 40 range. Um, we can see that if we filter uh, by the buy box price to the most expensive, there's not much we can do on those, I don't think. And then if we filter by the lowest price, um, we can see, ooh, medium olive right here. So this is, that color that's super, super cheap. Now it does have zero reviews, but it's also only been around for 118 days. 
So we're gonna see if these potentially do make sense right here. And there's only a medium left too, so it seems like there's uh, these other sides have sold out of stock, right? So let's see, can we do a medium right here? Medium. Here right now, there's no buy box on this product, but we're gonna be able to see if the, if it's still selling right here by looking at the individual Keepa chart right here is the best way to gauge velocity for specific variation right here. Let's see. Okay, so these are like 22 bucks um, right here, and we're picking them up for 16 minus 25. So 16 times 0.75, right there, $12 cost. Um, so after Amazon fees, I have 8% sales tax factored in. Um, product cost, stuff like that would just about break even on, uh, on that product. However, we can see these extra large ones right here. I believe the lowest price was, yeah, $41. So if those were in stock, those would have been a very, very nice product. And we can see that they do sell considering they went from eight sellers on May 20th on the Keepa chart all the way down to one seller on June 28th right there. So we're going to pass on those, but definitely not a, definitely not a bad uh, listing. What we can do is take a look at what's the quickest selling ones right here and see if there's any price anomalies like 34 right here. See if we can find these on Google at all on another website because at the end of the day, the goal of online arbitrage is to find fast selling products and then to locate them at profitable price, right? Now, whatever we gotta do to do that right here. So let's see, so we want the blue and uh, blue ones right there, which I'm not really seeing anywhere. Um, you always kinda do look, wanna look for deals, like it's at, let's see, so these are, let's see, $7.50 right there. I'm definitely gonna take a look at those right here, and I believe there's all that, yeah, these guys look good too, right? You're gonna find so many profitable things that just show up elsewhere in the Google search, right? Other items showing up when you Google a certain item right there, so this is one example, like, I think these are gonna be good, because we're only paying, yeah, so 12 minus 25 percent, we're paying like 10 bucks right there. Hmm, okay. Yes, yeah, so these are awful close. Um, damn, and they've been good too, because at 24, where they used to be on Kipo, which we can see right there at 12.5 times 0.75. So that's how I'm gonna take off that 25% discount, is just add that in. We're making a pretty nice ROI, um, just those other sizes aren't in stock currently. Um, right there, we'll have to check these other colors too. Carbon Heather, they only got an extra small left. Yes, yeah, so these would be good too. Um, I just doubt they have an extra small. Yeah, okay, they don't. All right, no problem right here. Uh, trophy shorts right here, let's see. $7.50 is crazy cheap for these. I expect these to be good. This this looks like a really, really nice item right here. Oh, there's that other listing too right there. But yeah, those look pretty cheap right here. $7.50. Let's see, we want the black and white ones right here. $7.50 right here. Boom, 22, game time. Extra small is out of stock. My bad. Right there. What about a small right here? Let's see, so this doesn't have a buy box right here. But at uh, lowest price is 20 right here at a 7.5 cost right there and a sale price of 20 bucks right there we're going to make three dollars profit and wow look at that price stability too on this keep it chart we can see that the price has been right around 20 bucks for a while really really consistently even went up to 21 there for a couple of days um right there so that's going to leave us after amazon fees sales tax sh shipping to amazon all that kind of stuff uh, about three dollars and fifty cents profit it's a super small item we're going to be able to fit a ton in the box to amazon when we ship them bulk to the Amazon FBA warehouse. And then the protocol from here would just be to buy, you know, maybe a 10 unit test order if you were to find these on your own. Obviously, this doesn't make sense to buy. A bunch of people are seeing this video, but it's just more so showing you how to put in the reps and find name brand products, flip on Amazon. You'd buy te a test order of 10 of these. You would ship them to yourself or maybe a warehouse or a prep center eventually, and then you'd send it off to the Amazon Prime warehouse where they're gonna handle it and fill it to your customers for you. Right there. So first one of the day right here, I expect these other sides are probably gonna be good too. Right here, 17, $7.50 buy cost. Not quite, um, although it's pretty close. Right there, 17 once again, although we can see the prime is at $19.99 right there. So 20 right there, buy cost 7.5 right there. Yeah, $4.50 profit, super, super solid. However, on this one, competition's trending up a little bit. Um, but if we look historically, we can see the price has never really gone below where it is right now. And even at the lowest price now, we're still making a really, really good ROI right there. So this is like a pretty safe bet, especially considering we're also getting 8% cash back via racked and Chrome extension right there. On that, so that's a solid W to get us, uh, get us started here. They got the blues as well at 15. Let's see that the blues here. Blue, black, although that is, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, that is the right thing. Okay, cool. All right. 20 bucks right there, so that doesn't work. 
check some of these other ones. Right here, 19. Cool, yeah, 12. All right, definitely doesn't work right there, but we got some wins. And these ones were good too, they just weren't in stock right there. So kind of thing you know you might want to put on a spreadsheet um, within SellerRamp, which you can do by scrolling down right here. And then you can actually export leads that you find using some different examples, purchased, check-in future, out of stock, back to school, Q4, almost good. And then all you gotta do is just boom, click that, and then it automatically exports all the data right here so you can stay organized as you're doing product research as well right here. Okay, kids pullover hoodie. So it is the summer um, right here. However, parts of the country are cold year round. People uh, like wearing hoodies and stuff. So um, we'll take a look right here. The nice thing is even when you just look something up on Amazon, like we find these which are the right thing, these aren't the right thing too, but you always want to take a look at stuff like that because it might be good elsewhere, right? Um, so that's something that I think uh, a lot of people don't do enough when they're doing product research. 55, bang, extra large, okay, boom, okay. So this is gonna be close right here. So 38 minus 25 right here. So 38 times 0.75 right there, up at 55. So this is only about a 30% ROI um, right here. Uh, so it's a little bit low. However, we are getting good rack tints. That does, definitely doesn't hurt. It's still 15% profit um, right there. It's a 32K rank, so that is a good mover um, right here. And let's see. So we can see that for a while, you know, several, several months between April and July, these were 60 right here, right? So I think they'll go down a little bit in the short term, but we can see that there's been good money made on these. If we look at the buy box statistics right here and go to the 90 days, we can see that there's a good amount of history at 58 right there, 58 right there. So it's about, you know, 70% uh, of the time it's been 58 plus, which is a nice ROI for us, even with 8% sales tax. If you're in a uh, lower sales tax state, you'd be in an even better situation um, on something like that. So yeah, we're close. You could also use a discounted gift card and probably get another 5% off with that via um, card cash or raise right there, 66. Wow, how did I miss that right here? Is this the right thing? Big kids pullover hoodie, size large. Nike boys club pullover hoodie, yeah, okay. Cool, 66 right here. Damn, look at that. So this is interesting. So this is a little bit more of a risky play because historically they've been at 46 but the price has gone up in terms of the past week or so. So if I were gonna sell this, I would buy it and quick get it listed at FBM um, right there. But there's definitely some winners and some money to be had in there, um, especially with 8% uh, rack to infected in as well. Um, right there, but yeah, it's not bad at all right there. And I might have some other colors here too. Navy, gray right there, although I don't see that light gray. Oh, Carbon Heather, cool, okay, is this Carbon Heather? Yeah, Carbon Heather, cool, okay. And it's a similar, ooh, it's even cheaper right here. Wow, can't believe I almost missed that. Right here, 34 times 0.75, right there is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, it looks like, uh, this might be like an older version though here, because it does have that thing in there, which that other one doesn't have, um, right there. So I'd definitely hold off on that. But the black ones were good, because it was the right thing, right there, okay, cool. All right, see so we got right here, Cortez, basic, basic, basic. These are baby ones. Um, I doubt that, oh, they do have taller ones in here. Okay, cool, all right, well if these are at, what are we paying? So we're paying 39, um, so we're paying like 30 bucks. Basically, six toddler right here. Ooh, six C though. Okay, so we'd have to look up a size chart um, right here, but it does have the two things right there. Let's see, because it's got the two straps right there, and then the two lines. Yeah, I would want to look up a size chart, but it does say toddler, and it does say toddler right here, and then this one um, says toddler as well um, right there. So. With the code early, we get another 25% right there. So these are 39 times 0.75. Right there, the metrics look really, really strong on this item, right? Now, we can see that the BSR is a little high. It's over 100K rank. Um, the key here is that if we look at the Keepa chart, we can see that these are nice and stable and that we also have a ton of proof that these sell looking at how the offer count, which is the competition, has gone from 14 all the way down to one in some cases, um, right there. So we can see that these do sell. Um, I just definitely want to pull up uh, a maybe size chart, maybe actually go ahead and pull this style code here, plug this in and see if this pops up um, right there, which actually doesn't in this case, which is not necessarily a red flag um, right here, but we do want to go ahead and see, yeah, it's like those ones, See, because we can see it. Oh, okay, those are the really, really small ones right there. Okay, that's a good sign. Cool. All right, so that's like really, really nice um, right there. That's cool. And some of those other sizes were good too, right there, I believe. Oh, no, that, I mean, let me know in the comments if I'm missing something. I don't think I am. Those are a very, very nice item. Yes, yeah, seven toddler 
right that's awesome right there so you guys can see there's a ton of money you made just going on websites like nike.com finding stuff that you think might do well on amazon which is typically like you know common colors and stuff like that and then actually go ahead and plugging it in and seeing what you could do in terms of locating this stuff um, with good demand on amazon strong sales history um, that you can see all the data is clear with keepa and seller ramp what products you guys should be buying right so then it's just on you to be able to go ahead and actually locate these right um, on that and take a look so yeah i appreciate you guys watching this video right here feel free to take a look at this other stuff make sure you're on the email list of all these websites what you can do is go ahead and just google a product with seller ramp and now you know all of these sites that you want to get on the email list for so that you can notif be notified when they have other sales going on right there and then you can go ahead and execute further on manual sourcing right there but yeah steps to get started you want to get seller amp you want to get keepa watch some other videos on my channel check out the keepa and seller amp tutorials or the ungating tutorials down below and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks a lot